Air RB is a bit of a mess. Where the action is at its most intense, it's a chaotic furball and leaves no room to show off one's supreme dogfighting talent. It's not a test of individual pilotage so much as it is a test of teamwork, weaponry knowledge, and situational awareness. How well a plane can fly is not nearly as important as the missiles it can carry. This is a lesson best learned by the A-10 Warthog. It's not all luck, don't get me wrong, but a game mode that puts you at the mercy of your teammates' competence gets incredibly exhausting. Sometimes it's just more fun to do something else. Something where your ability to fly a plane with skill is rewarded. Maybe not with something tangible like RP or Silver Lions, but something deeper. Personal satisfaction. That's something missed a lot while playing RRB. So why not take a break from combat for a little bit and practice some aerobatics instead? This video has prepared three skill-based maneuvers for you to learn that can only be performed by the highest performance jets in the game. Since no aircraft in War Thunder have thrust vectoring capability, a true Herb's turn is incredibly difficult to pull off. But since this is War Thunder, there's limitless trial and error to find out what's possible. Video games can afford you error without millions of dollars in damages. Also known as a J-turn, the Herb's turn is a stall maneuver that incorporates a combination of high angle of attack and a rolling motion in order to execute a low speed yet quick direction reversal. This maneuver is best performed by aircraft with outstanding nose authority. The first step is to get your aircraft off the ground. This maneuver, like the other two, will need you to use the full real controls mode. To set up for a Herb's turn, put your aircraft into a spiral stall climb. As you approach critical speed, input a full deflection of the elevators to execute the highest angle of attack possible. At the same time, yaw the aircraft to the opposite direction of the spiral. Use your ailerons to keep the canopy facing the sky. The herbs to turn can vary a lot in execution. There is no exact way to do it. The only constant is that it takes patience to learn. It demands excellent precision in both timing and positioning. Another note, because of its nature as a stall maneuver, an aircraft that struggles to maintain high AOA will struggle to perform a herbs to turn. This is why, though still possible, fighters like the F-16 will require much more discipline to pull one off. The Kvasher Bell is another maneuver that is typically done through thrust vectoring. But once again, War Thunder is a video game, and you can afford to do insanely risky things in the pursuit of seeing what's possible. Those familiar with my split throttle video will have already seen this one once before. The Tomcat is the ideal aircraft to perform this maneuver with, given that it can effectively mimic 2D thrust vectoring by cutting burner from one engine. You will need to set up differential engine controls in order to perform this maneuver accurately. If you want to know how to do that, this video explains it in depth. A Kvasher Bell needs the F-14 to be flying straight and level at around 400 or above. When you're ready, execute a full elevator deflection while cutting throttle to one engine. Use rudder to assist in this spin. The reason a Kvasher Bell is so difficult to pull off is that unlike the Herbst turn, it's a momentary departure of flight that utilizes the dark arts in order to flip the plane as widely as possible. An error at any point will result in disastrous consequences. Always make sure you have plenty of altitude before performing this one.
tail slide varies in difficulty depending on which plane it's performed with. The F-14 I found to be the easiest. Since you are forcing the plane to fly backwards, it's pretty obvious to say that the control surfaces won't work. To succeed in the tail slide, it's normally best to keep some sort of forward momentum. As mentioned previously, the F-16, MiG-29, and many other planes need this to not immediately fall over inverted. Execution of the tail slide is fairly simple in principle. Keep the nose pointed towards the sky as the aircraft descends. Execution and practice, however, is why it's not ranked 2 stars. The reason I opted to include the power tail slide instead is because it's much more difficult, yet much more interesting to watch. Since War Thunder has yet to introduce flankers and other super maneuverable aircraft, these maneuvers can serve as practice for when they can be applied in combat. But beware that just because they can be, doesn't mean they should. Can't be. Mavericks. But don't be misled, this video wasn't intended to show you that they can be viable in dogfights, because they're not. This video was intended to show that aerobatics, or just flying for fun, is often overlooked as something to do in War Thunder. Give it a shot, trust me. That'll be it for this video.